Chapter 11 Then Zophar the Naamathite replied to Job, Shouldn't someone answer this torrent of words? Is a person proved innocent just by talking a lot? Should I remain silent while you babble on? When you mock God, shouldn't someone make you ashamed? You claim my teaching is pure, and I am clean in the sight of God. If only God would speak, if only He would tell you what He thinks, if only He would tell you the secrets of wisdom, for true wisdom is not a simple matter. Listen, God is doubtless punishing you far less than you deserve. Can you solve the mysteries of God? Can you discover everything there is to know about the Almighty? Such knowledge is higher than the heavens. But who are you? It is deeper than the underworld. What can you know in comparison to Him? It is broader than the earth and wider than the sea. If God comes along and puts a person in prison, or if He calls the court to order, who is going to stop Him? For He knows those who are false, and He takes note of all their sins. An empty-headed person won't become wise any more than a wild donkey can bear human offspring. If only you would prepare your heart and lift up your hands to Him in prayer, get rid of your sins, and leave all inequity behind you. Then your face will brighten in innocence. You will be strong and free of fear. You will forget your misery. It will all be gone like water under the bridge. Your life will be brighter than the noonday. Any darkness will be as bright as morning. You will have courage because you will have hope. You will be protected and will rest in safety. You will lie down unafraid, and many will look to you for help. But the wicked will lose hope. They have no escape. Their hope becomes despair.